This video is a short preview of Corel's Particle Shop using the Creepers Brush Pack. This pack is designed for character designers or creature designers or anybody that wants to paint an animal, a dragon, whatever. So um, here is the Creepers Pack. There are 15 brushes here and I'm simply going to show you how they work. So I like to pin the color palette open and I'm doing it on a plain colored background here just so it's pretty easy to see and I'll make a light and a dark stroke with each of these so bacteria here this is really kind of a great random texture that you can use I've used it to paint tree bark to put texture on skin just about anything you can imagine. Caveman, this is a great one if you want to paint a mullet. You can see the hair kind of goes out at an angle. So if you want to create any kind of kind of funky hairdo, it will follow the direction that your brush is taking. And cracked, this is kind of a general large texture. It's a little bit like bacteria, but it's a little more controlled in that it follows an underlying pattern to form a kind of a crack type field. You can see the particles working away to do it. And you can see if I let them just go in one section, they develop more and more of a texture. All these are useful. Mangy, it's another kind of textural kind of thing, but the hair kind of goes off in an upper direction. Very valuable for organic skin textures and maybe even cliffs and walls. Another mangy brush. A little more of the underlying pattern shows through on this one. Random, kind of a random spotty brush. I like this one a lot when I'm using and making skin tones. You can see it's very low opacity right now, so I'll kick it up a little bit. It's kind of like freckles, but smaller. Random two. And this one's even bigger, more particles, covers a greater area quicker. Come down here to Shaggy. Whoops, roll the bones, that's the one. This is kind of an abstract bone kind of brush. Now it will follow you. If you make a circle, it'll follow you. A little more abstract of a brush, but still I find it quite useful. Shaggy, nice shaggy hairbrush. Kind of more for making a little more controlled strokes. If you have to draw a beard, long flowing hair, shaggy's a good brush to use. And we'll go on to the next one, skin pores. Just what it sounds like. Very subtle, very useful. Spiky hair. It will also follow you. It's a little bit slower. There's a lot of particles going on here. And I find that it's best if I go over same area a couple times. Stitches. Just what it sounds like. You need to make some really nasty looking stitches. There they are. Kind of wavy spiked hair. And finally whiskers. Kind of little short, stubby, directionless kind of hair. Now, while the brush pack is called Creepers, it can be used really for anything. It's simply limited by what your imagination is. Uh, I would get it, give it a try, use it. I think you'll be really happy with how it works.